Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. I just want to share with you because I, I'm moved with compassion and with care and love in my heart for those who are atheists today. You know, there are many atheists out there on YouTube land that, that know me as Jason Burns from Zwema 100 and coming out of atheism and they followed me to this channel and they come and they make comments under my videos and things and I'm doing this video out of compassion and love for you because I want you to know the Lord Jesus Christ and I'd, I, would, I would ask you if you know me, if you're an atheist, or even if you don't know me, I'd ask you to look around this channel, Athanasius TV, and look around it, and look and watch some of the videos. Not not the ones that I do, but look at the ones by I'llBeHonest.com. Look at the ones where they are young people, or people giving their testimonies. And listen to their testimonies about how they find Christ. Please look around the channel there's such a, a lot of good stuff on this channel and I just pray that as you atheist you might come to know the Lord that you might find his peace and joy in Mark chapter 14 it says and as they were being eating Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said take eat this is my body then he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them but they all drank from it and he said to them this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many assuredly I say to you I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink the new, drink it anew in the kingdom of God when they had sung a hymn they went out to the Mount of Olives you know our Lord here is he, he's got uh, the Lord's Supper and you know he says take the bread this is of me take the wine this is this is about me now it wasn't an altar that the disciples were sitting round it was a table it was a table and a table just like you would have in your own kitchen and if you'd invite friends to your house and they'd sit in the kitchen they're enjoying your fellowship and Jesus is 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 having the Lord's Supper as it were around a table and it's a picture of God God wants fellowship with you he invites you to fellowship now the Lord not only was the host come to the to the table but he was the meal he said take this bread this is me remembrance of me take this wine this is in remembrance of me and he was prophesying that he would die on a cross and the Son of God was God in the flesh and he was a sacrifice for your sin and my sin on the cross and when Christ was dying he was taking the full wrath of God for my sin and your sin all the sin that you have done and I have done deserved the wrath of God but instead of you being judged Christ stood in your place and gave his life for you as it says he was bruised for our iniquities and he gave all his life for you so when he says to the disciples take this bread in remembrance of me the bread is a symbol of his broken body when he said take this wine in remembrance of me the wine was a simple symbol of Jesus's blood being shed and he's offering his own body to his disciples providing his own body as a meal that they would take by faith and God wants you to take that meal a spiritual meal that will never ever ever cease but will always satisfy you will always fill you 
a meal that will give you peace. The sacrifice of Christ will give you peace and will give you hope and will give you joy. And you follow me around, all around. You follow me around different channels and you come on the, the, the videos and you make comments and you say the things that you say and you argue. But I want to tell you that God has set a meal for you and the meal was Him and He was the one that gave His life a sacrifice for you upon the cross. He poured out Himself upon the cross. He took your wrath, your judgment, your punishment so that you might have peace. He said, Jay, I'm not a good person or I'm a good person I don't need saving or whatever. Or oh, Jay, I don't understand. I don't get it. Well, the disciples didn't get it. They didn't understand it. They messed up. But yet, even though the disciples messed up, Jesus still prepared a meal for them. And he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the world messed up and you mess up and I mess up. But the Son of God came and he died on a cross for you. You might say, Jay, I've said something, I've done something, I've thought something that is so bad that God will never forgive me. Well, that's not true. God will forgive you. My principal once said that the grace of God can cover anything. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. As an atheist, you hold on to your atheism. I don't know why you're an atheist. I don't know why you're an atheist. I don't know why you've got the intellectual thoughts that you have. I don't know. But I know this. That you can feed on atheism and you'll be left hungry spiritually you can feed on atheism and spiritually you'll be left empty you can live on atheism and in the final hour of your death you will have no hope you'll have no hope You'll have no hope. There is no hope. There's no hope. There isn't any hope. But I can assure you that if you believe in Jesus Christ, you will be fed spiritually and satisfied. You will be satisfied intellectually and emotionally and spiritually. You will be satisfied. But when you come to that hour of your death, and you will have to face it, Jesus, it is said, by the Apostle Paul that the, 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 the death is no sting to the believer. That he has conquered death. That Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And you can believe in Jesus Christ and come to your deathbed and know that you will rise again with him if you believe in him and know with a certainty.
So please, please give your life to the Lord. Please turn to Jesus and trust in Him. Turn to the Lord and trust in Him. Will you do that? Please, please give your life to Jesus. He said, Jay, I've got arguments, I've got evidence, I've got this, I've got that. It's nothing compared to Christ. It's nothing compared to Him. Please trust Him and look to Him. Please. If you get time, have a look at all the good stuff on this channel. There is so much good stuff I'm putting on this channel at the present time. Good preachers, good testimonies. And they'll help you. They will help you. Okay. I'll pray. The prayer doesn't save you, but the prayer is an indication of what God may do. So I pray. May this be your prayer. Lord, I confess all my sin and I'm guilty of all my failures. Lord, it's been a long journey and I've fought against you. But Lord, I ask that you would come into my life and be my Lord and Saviour today. I trust you for my salvation, not myself, not church, not my pastor, not prayers not anything but you Jesus Christ I trust in you Lord and for your glory please come into my life and be my saviour and Lord Amen I pray that while well, I pray now Father I just pray that the person who prayed that prayer you would save them and you would work in their lives and fill them with your Holy Spirit today I pray that you would use them for your glory and provide for them and meet their needs and guide them in the way that they would should go. Provide believers and friends to help them walk in your ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I trust that you give your heart to the Lord today and follow him. Please let me know if you've given your heart to the Lord. Take care now. God bless.